I am so beyond excited right now. It is time. It's a little bit late, but when am I never late for videos? Honestly, just nowadays, totally, completely unreliable. Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey Central. If you're new here, my name is Shayla, and today we're going over my bourbon, rye, scotches, and world whiskeys of the year. I'll be giving a bottle of the year and then my top five samples that I received from you all for each category. As always, timestamps are in the description box down below. So for each category, I try to pick a bottle that almost everyone can get. I want them to be accessible and affordable. Then we'll go through a quick fire list of my top five samples I received that you might be able to try at a bar for a special occasion. These will be harder to find and usually more expensive, but they're amazing and I feel like they deserve a shout. All right, so let's get started with my rye bottle of the year. I didn't purchase that many rye, so I think out of the five categories, this is probably the easiest one. My rye bottle of the year for 2021 is Wild Turkey Rare Breed. This bottle isn't too expensive, it has great flavor, and it's available for most people. And my top five rye samples of the year are Parker's Heritage Rye, Kentucky Owl Rye Batch 4, Wild Turkey Master's Keep Cornerstone, Cockton Creek Cast Strength Rye, and Alberta Premium Cast Strength. All right, now for my bourbon of the year. I had a really hard time picking for this category because I was lucky enough to buy a lot of great bourbons this year. But my bourbon of the year for 2021 is Knob Creek Nine Year Single Barrel Reserve. This is the bottle that got me into high proof bourbons and I absolutely love it. And my top five bourbon samples of the year are WB Saffle, Four Gate Batch Six, Knob Creek 2001 Limited Edition Batch Two, Stag Junior, and Booker's Granny's Batch. All right, we'll hop on over to my World Whiskey of the Year before finishing with my two Scotches of the Year. My World Whiskey this year is Irish, and this is the bottle that sparked my curiosity about the country. My World Whiskey of the Year for 2021 is Redbreast 12-Year Cast Strength. Unfortunately, I think they're phasing this out to a Redbreast Small Batch Cast Strength, so if you can get a bottle of this where you live, it might be worth picking up. And my top five World Whiskey samples of the year are Nika from the Barrel, Teeling Single Grain, Yochi Single Malt, McCarthy's Oregon Single Malt, and Iron Root Icarus Corn Whiskey. All right, now we got Scotch Peated and Scotch Unpeated. Ooh, let's go. All right, so I was not able to pick between a peated and an unpeated. I don't know how people just do one whiskey for the entire year. I'm doing five and it's very difficult. So <laughs> uh, I just made two categories. So we have the peated and the unpeated. I had such a hard time picking the peated bottle. I was thinking Lechic 10, I was thinking Port Charlotte 10, I was thinking Lafroy Glore. It was just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, times three with those three bottles. Ralphie said I, uh, Lechic was his whiskey of the year period, not just peated category. So I thought that's off the list. Can't copy Ralphie because you know, gotta try to be original at least a little bit. So it was down to Port Charlotte and Lafroy Glore. <sighs> My peated whiskey of the year for 2021 is Port Charlotte 10 year. It was a close race, but this year, Port Charlotte 10 year won. I think depending on the day, it was either Lafroy Glore or Port Charlotte 10. I could, I mean, tomorrow I could change my answer, but this year, Port Charlotte 10 is the winner. And my top five peated scotch samples of the year are Springbank 18, Lafroy Karchus, Kilcarran 16, Longrow 14 year Sherry, and Talisker 18. All right, so like I said, I wasn't able to pick between unpeated and peated this year. So my unpeated scotch of the year for 2021 is Deanston 12 year. I know, shocker. <laughs> I just recently did a review of this, but I could not love this whiskey more. It's an integrity bottling. It's at a good price. Texture's fantastic. Flavor's fantastic. It doesn't get much better in my book. And my other top five scotch samples of the year are Glen Scotia Victoriana, Hazelburn Nine Year Barolo, Glen Goyne Teapot Dram, Old Pulteney 17 Year Sherry, and Anok 18 Year. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Whiskey Central. Next week, I'll be back with another review. I hope you enjoyed this list of my top five whiskeys of 2021. 
If you did, leave it a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Rise, scotch. Oh! And today we're... Oh! Yeah! Lovely. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And my top five... Shit! Our Parker's Heritage Rye. Catoctin? Catoctin? Yeah, Catoctin. Is it Catoctin? Cause, yeah. Dash four. Uh, okay, 2021. Fucking son of a bitch. That's Donna, right? Oh. My God. Thanks for joining me. Son of a bitch! I'm gonna need a cigar after this. I just would like to say thank you, Mom, for this candle. It's called Whiskey Caramel, and it smells delicious. Craft and kin. Thanks. Love it. I've already lit it. Mmm. Makes me want to drink. Oh, there they are, folks. These are my top five bottles of the year. This is Deanston 12. Don't be confused. <laughs> that was so much fun. First video back on set in months. It's just been a crazy three months. Just want to say thank you to all my patrons that stuck with me this whole time, even though I have not been creating content, like hardly at all, and barely been doing live streams for the past like six weeks. I just appreciate all of you so much. I appreciate anybody that's ever been a patron of mine, no matter what. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for the continued support. And it's just been Honestly, a tough few months, been a little bit stressful, and you guys, just having you guys has been uh, a real blessing. So, love y'all, love my patrons, love you guys, love all the subscribers. We're almost at 5,000, which is just bonkers. I cannot believe that there are 5,000 people out there that like me, even a little bit. <laughs> Alright, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.